boys and girls and welcome to this week's virtual assembly. We've got another busy, busy week for you. First of all, we've got a welcome message from Mrs Mackay, followed by our Seesaw Superstars. We've got a choice of the week and an update from all of the classes for Sustainable Development Week. Some of the boys and girls are going to lead us in the rosary prayers this week. And we also have some photographs and videos to share with you from the School Olympics, which our primary six sport leaders have been helping to lead this week. We've got a little recap on some of the French language that we learned last week, as well as a little video clip. We have another lip sync challenge and this week we have a few familiar faces. And finally, Mrs McGlone and I have our Macaton challenge for you. So let's get started. Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to this week's assembly. As you can see, I haven't started with my usual signing this week. I am quite sure though, that if you thought hard, you would be able to do the signing introduction yourself, but I'm not able to do it because I have hurt my hand and it's not so easy to do the signs when your fingers don't move particularly well. It has been another busy and successful week in St Stephen's and St Kevin's primaries. And again, it's been one of those weeks where we have been jam packed with lots of different learning activities inside and outside. And it's been, as always, wonderful to see. We are not at school on Friday this week or Monday next week. So your assembly celebration is on Thursday. I hear the juice and biscuits that you had last week were a great success. So much so that we're having it again this week. I am thinking that maybe next week, if it's a really nice day, we might have some ice lollies instead. We have got a jam-packed assembly and so I'm just going to hand you over to Miss McEachran. Not talking very much at all this week because we've just too much to get through. So have a wonderful long weekend. I am really looking forward to seeing you back next week. And um, here comes the next bit. Bye. This week has been another busy week on Seesaw. We've had 382 posts added, 238 comments, 572 likes of student work and 69 visits by family members. Let's take a little look at this week's Seesaw Superstars.
So we're now moving on to our choice of the week. It could be a joke of the week or a random fact. It might be an honest day, day in or a news story from around the world. It could be a quote of the week or a sports fact of the week. Or it could even be a movie or music clip or fact of the week. Or a guess who. It is a random fact of the week. Let's head over to News Round to see what they have in store. And this week's random facts come from News Round's Strange News. Let's take a little look and see what they are. Ah, Jupiter, so strange and lovely and enormous and beautiful. It kind of looks like a lovely, peaceful marble. Or does it? Pictures newly released by the Hubble Space Telescope and Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii capture the planet in three different kinds of light. Infrared, visible and ultraviolet. And in infrared, it looks so fiery. Naughty Jupiter, down boy. Earth is so much better behaved as shown in this incredible Earth artwork. This huge installation is the creation of artist Luke Duram and shows our planet from the viewpoint of space. It took around six months to carefully create the replica. Awesome! Sticking with art, someone has been busy on this beach in Blackpool. This large scale art by artists from Sandinurai depicts the historic pier and Pleasure Beach, featuring of all things a roller coaster. Now, over last week, all of the classes were working really hard during our Sustainable Development Week. Each class had a specific global goal that they were exploring with their teacher. So in the next little video, we're going to find out just exactly what each class was learning about and if they had decided what they were going to spend their allocated money on. Remember, the £30 that each class gets is to go towards something to develop the global goal that their class had. We cannot wait to find out what you all get up to. Let's take a look at the goals your class has been allocated. Primary one, you're going to look at responsible consumption and production. You're going to look at all of the things we can do to recycle, reduce and reuse. Primary two and two, three, you're going to look at life on land. Primary three, your global goal is all about quality education. Primary four, you're going to look at life below water. Primary five, you're going to look at climate action. Primary six, you're going to look at gender equality. And primary seven, you're going to look at affordable and clean energy. We see seagulls and hear them after break time. They were looking for food. They found us like this. And this. And this. And that. And, the, and then after that we picked all the rubbish up. Did you see what did we find? Uh, there were 45, there were 47 leads that we... And where did those leads come from? Um. The lunch hall. The lunch hall. And if there was 47 today, how many would that be in a whole week? 245. <clears throat> Primary one. 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 Sticks 
and then tie the string around the stick. Then you leave a bit hanging and tie it through the hole with a pencil. How to make this bird for you. You need garden wire, apples, raisins and cheese. First, you cut up the, the apples and the cheese, then put them on the garden wire. Get the string and tie it around and hang it on the tree. <coughs> Primary City have been learning out about quality education. We have been looking at the differences between our education and children. In other countries, we have decided to donate backpacks to Mary's Meals to help other children. Primary City have been learning about quality education. We have been looking at the differences between our education and children in other countries. We have decided to donate backpacks to Mary's Meals to help other children. Life underwater is getting worse because um, um, waste, toxic waste are going into the water and all the animals have died and the water is getting dirty and, and it's going to ruin the environment. Sewage is also one of another one, but we could sometimes you could turn sewage into water, but it's getting worse and worse. It will affect the water technically, and with plastic in it, it's even worse. And plastic bottles are going into the water, and all the animals are um, gonna eat and then they're gonna um, die. We could probably use um, pee and poo as water because a country has actually done that and it tastes like regular water. Or you could recycle plastic. You can not throw your plastic away. You can recycle it and make it so you don't ruin the environment with using bad stuff. With um, plastic bottles and plastic bags or can Our goal is to is climate change. We use the iPad to and uh, created that to know about local recycling centers. gender equality and we were learning about stereotypes and how at like age five the information about oh this person's a boy at work is wired into your brain most people think that nurses are girls and doctors are boys but it could be switched around because of stereotype and also there is a difference in pay of genders in each work category just because someone's a girl doctor or a, a boy nurse, that doesn't mean that any anyone's different because we're all equal. Our goal is renew, uh, renewable energy. Different examples of renewable energy are solar panels, electrical cars, and 
like charging stations for many other um, vehicles and equipment. Many countries have decided to abolish all nuclear power <laughs> and have decided to replace it with um, natural electricity by using wind turbines and, and, and flows from the ocean to create power. Over the month of May, Miss McGraw and the boys and girls in our school have been helping to lead the prayers of the Rosary during assembly. This week is our last week in May and we're now going to be led into prayer by some of the boys and girls again. Pope Francis has asked us to be praying for the Rosary during the month of May to remember all those people who have suffered or are suffering because of Covid and for an end of the pandemic. As we hold the rosary in our hands and we claim the Hail Mary over and over again, we think about joyful times in Mary's life and pray that in our world we look forward to a happier times. Let us pray the joyful mysteries. This week we will pray the fourth joyful mystery. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of Jesus in the temple. When we pray today, we remember all those people who come together as a community to pray for others who need God's help. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it shall be the end of the and it shall be one with no end. Now, over this week, all of the classes have been participating in School Olympics, and last week you may remember that we showed you some videos of each activity and told you that some of our primary six boys and girls would be helping lead these activities when it's your class's turn to go outside and take part in them. So let's find out what's been going on this week.
week, Miss Healy taught us some wonderful phrases in French. Let's remind ourselves some of those phrases. Don't forget to practice in school and at home too. And then we're going to watch a very short video all about France. Finally, we're going to show you a little trick that you can do when you use the iPad to go on a virtual tour of France. We hope you enjoy it. Bonjour. Bienvenue à l'école primaire de St. Stephen's et St. Kevin's. Je m'appelle Madame Hilly. Aujourd'hui, on va apprendre quelques phrases en français. Écoutez et répétez. Bonjour. Je m'appelle. Ça va? Bien. Merci. S'il vous plaît. Oui. Non. Au revoir. À bientôt. Today's country is... France! France is a country in Europe. France is close to our country and it is just a short flight to get there. People in France speak a language called French. It is the most visited country in the whole world with theme parks, art galleries, beaches, castles and beautiful countryside. The biggest city in France is Paris. You might recognize this tall tower. It is called the Eiffel Tower. In France they make amazing food. Pan au chocolat, which is chocolate bread, lots of yummy cakes and puddings, and they eat escargot, which are snails, but you should not eat these from the garden. Some very famous artists are from France. Look at these amazing French paintings. Lots of famous dances and songs are from France. You might already know the song Frère Jacca. Next time you're on an iPad, go to the little maps icon and then go over to search maps and I'm going to type in Paris. And then I'm going to tap the little button that says fly over. You can then pinch the screen and move it around and fly over Paris. You can pinch out and pinch in as well and fly over to see all of the different things in Paris. See what you can find and share on the Cecil blog. Now you may remember last week during the assembly there was a very, very funny video of the teachers in St Stephen's and St Kevin's lip syncing to a very cool song. Well this week we have a lip sync challenge for you. Can you figure out whose voice is playing over the video? Don't forget to post your answers on the Seesaw blog. Good luck! Hello everyone, it's great to see you all. I'm going to tell you three things about myself. Two are real and one is false. I wonder if you can guess what is false along with who am I? First fact is that I live with my three sons. Second fact is that I used to skydive from an aeroplane high up in the sky. And the third one is that I love reading Harry Potter. Who am I? Finally, last week, Mrs McGlone and I 
posted a very special Makatone lip sync and sign challenge. We've seen quite a few classes this week practicing some of the signs and this week we have the second part of the song to share with you. We would love for you to practice this, share it with your friends and families and if you would like your video to feature in next week's assembly, post it on your Seesaw blog or come and speak. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stay Stand by me So darling, darling Stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand Stand by me Stand by me If the sky that we look upon Should tumble and fall So boys and girls, it's almost time to go home. Remember, keep wearing your mask, washing your hands and staying apart from the people who don't live in your home. Keep making good choices, keep safe and I will see you all very soon. Have a lovely look.